Welcome to day 181 of our DSO and BitCloud journey. I had to get used to saying that. So Maybe it should just be DSO for now on. What do you think? Should we just say DSO journey? Okay. So let's start it over. Welcome to day 181 of our DSO journey. Still doesn't sound right. Eh, we'll get used to it. All right. So yesterday, after the big announcement, there wasn't too much more news. Nader did make an account. Of course, Nader Al Naji is the creator of BitCloud, formerly known as Diamond Hands. And Nader's account, N A D E R, is now verified. And it seems like, from what I'm, if I'm reading into it correctly, it seems like Diamond Hands isn't going to be posting anymore. Instead, Nader is going to do the majority of the posting. Um, yeah, I don't know if Diamond Hands is retiring, as in the, the you know the AKA Diamond Hands, or if he'll be posting from that account once in a while. But it seems like Nader, the Nader account, is going to be the one that's leading us into phase two, according to Diamond Hands. And again, it was, it was some sure here that Nader and Diamond Hands are the same person. For those who aren't understanding that, it was interesting watching. Uh, the money flow out of the diamond hands account and into the Nader account yesterday, right after he created the account. It's like, so just like, I think five, half a million dollars flowed into the Nader account within probably a couple of hours. And uh, I, I mean, the, the, the whole Deso thing that really sparked a lot of buys on bitclout.com. We saw over a million dollars bought on bitclout.com within the first 10 hours from that announcement at like 6 a.m. or whenever it was. So it, it really it really made things active, a lot of money circulating, uh, which is creating a lot of engagement and uh, definitely a good thing for the platform. You know what amazes me is that Elon Musk, who's not even on the platform, his coin value is $28,000 right now. Where Nader, his is only 7,000. And he's like the creator of it all. Like, you know, like, it amazes me how people are still have, are so invested in Elon Musk, but they're not actually invested in Nader, the creator of, of Deso or Deso and BitCloud. Here, here's the disclosure: we have we have an investment in the Nader coin, so Ed might be a little bit biased here. Just keep that in mind. Yes, and I don't think we have any investment in Elon Musk. No, because I, it's always been so high. Yeah, so I want to talk about what the repercussions were immediately following this DESO news, DESO news. I guess. DESO or DESO? I think DESO. I think it's like like social media. Yeah, I think it's like so, so immediately after that, we had a ton of buys, like I mentioned on BitCloud, of BitCloud.com, of the cloud, of the DESO, DESO coin. And uh, it went up to like about a million dollars in volume within the first 10 hours. But more importantly, the... Coin price rose, I think it hit 106 or $107 at one point on blockchain. But even more important than that, we saw a 60% day over day increase in daily active users. Uh, it was 4,100 4, daily actives at around noon yesterday or slightly after noon, I think. We also saw a drastic increase in the number of users having 10 plus actions. An action would be making a post, making a reply, giving a diamond. So we saw, I think it was 1,100 or 1,200 users have 10 plus actions yesterday, uh, late afternoon. So it definitely increased engagement. It's the engagement's still there, but we have so much more that's coming that I hope, I hope they keep rolling new features out and keep the refer and maybe the referral program coming as soon as possible because we need to keep the trend going upwards, I think. Where do you get that data? I saw it posted. I don't know if it was from, from Prosper Cloud or another another node. Um, but yeah, it was 60.1% increase in daily actives. Incredible. Um, yeah, so in other news, BitCloud Kids and today. Uh, our NFT project, the silver version of the coin is going to end at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we did end one. The, the card is based on Tiffany Trump. It's the Tiffany Jump card. And she bid on our card yesterday. So we ended that one for her because we feel she should have that. 
that trading card. Um, and in other NFT news, Cloud Dog, it's one of the big NFT projects on Big Cloud. They've released a website which is really useful. It's clouddog.art, I believe. Let me double check that. Clouddog.art, and it allows you to sort all the rarities and the different categories like background color, background pattern, uh, skin color, skin pattern, eyes, nose of all the cloud dogs. So you can kind of find which ones are rare. Um, so far, 437 of the 10,000 have been sold. And it's interesting now that you can kind of see the rarity and you can combine rarities like background color and background pattern to find like maybe like three that have a certain color and pattern. So, so it's really cool. It allows you to find rarities. You know, that's why crypto punks are like where certain crypto punks are super valuable. I really all crypto punks are valuable, but certain crypto punks are more valuable than others because they're more rare. So I think this website's really useful. I think it's, you know, like, it's, I think it's one of the first websites to really be released that kind of allows you to do this sorting for their own project. So I think it's great. And yes, um, it's something else. Something else we saw yesterday was somebody aped into the Cloud Punk coin uh, buying, I think, $46,000 worth of their coin, which really pumped the Cloud Punk, Punk uh, coin up. And I think we're just seeing a lot of excitement around NFTs. And rightfully so on BitCloud or on, well, on BitCloud.com, but on DSO blockchain. And I think as we move forward, this bridge with Ethereum, like we said before, I think that's going to bring on a lot of artists and a lot of collectors. And now that we kind of had this separated blockchain and, and people can kind of understand the platform better, I, I think it's going to be a positive for the NFT space. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I think maybe we'll see MetaMask integrated at some point as well. I think, you know, it's, it's kind of obvious that that would be a be huge benefit. So I'm looking forward to seeing something like that in the future. And of course, all the NFT nodes that are popping up, I think it's going to introduce collectors and artists to the DSO NFTs. You know, like, like I, I think, you know, they're not, they're no longer are they big cloud NFTs or DSO NFTs. Big cloud is just one of the platforms where you can mint them on. So a lot of exciting stuff in the future. Like you said, the referral program, we're expecting that sometime soon, the new front end and the marketing, the marketing in general. Yeah, uh, I, I think that I think that this is the spark, but I think that the the fuel has yet to be poured on the fire. And yeah, this, that this isn't, you know, they haven't done any of the fuel on the fire yet. The fuel of the fire parts can be the marketing. This is just the rebrand. And I think we're going to see the fuel being poured, slowly poured on the fire starting pretty soon. And we'll see where it goes. Yeah. And, and yesterday we saw a lot of publicity. And I think that's important to point out. We saw an article on Coindesk. We saw Fast Company with a great interview of, of Nader. We saw, I think, Crypt, Decrypt, Decrypt did an article. We saw a couple, couple other uh, media outlets do articles. And... The majority of them were relatively positive. I'd say 90% uh, were, were positive. 90%. There, there were a few that were, were negative. And, and the, neg the negatives they brought up were basically, hey, they raised this $200 million earlier in the year. They didn't just do this right now. But, but I mean, they're not saying they didn't. Nobody's <laughs> claiming. I know. It, it, that was kind of, kind of, I read that same article. Like They were claiming like it's a trick to make you think that DSO just raised $200 million. Nobody ever said that. Big Cloud raised $200 million earlier in the year, and it's been rebranded as DSO, exactly what nobody's being misled here. But, you know, the media always wants to try and find negatives, and any positive can be spun in a negative way. So you expect to see stuff like that. I mean, they had Google Ventures. They had Social Capital. They, they had Coinbase Ventures. They had Gemini. They were all throwing money at this project back in December and January. And now they're putting this on their website to basically brag about it and say, hey, these are who believed in us eight months ago. Like, what's the big deal, you know? But I'm sure they still believe in them now, you know? If, if, if they believed in them eight months ago and threw $200 million at them, obviously it's still a positive that they should be using to market the platform. Oh, and it doesn't even really matter if they believe in them or not. 
fact is the DCO Foundation now has $200 million to push forward decentralized social media. So I think that's a plus no matter how you look at that. Yeah, and they said that they were going to do it. They were, they were going to use some of the funds in order to amplify NFT artists, help out, help out a lot of the developer community, which I think is probably one of the top priorities they should be having because we are going to rely on the developers to build these second layers on top of the DSO blockchain. So that is exciting. They also mentioned that they're going to they're going to help. The use of money for on small creators. Uh, we don't know exactly what they're going to do there, but that, I think that's interesting. It should get some people excited. Um, but yeah, I, I think a lot of this money is also going to be used on the referral program, which is that, good. something else I noticed this morning. Uh, M. Van Halen sent me a link. There's actually some job posts floating out on the internet where DSO is hiring software developers. So that's exciting as well. You know, I think they're pushing forward with this and pushing forward quickly. Yeah, it, a lot, a lot's going to happen in the next next month or two. Um, I think where they're going to probably like boom, boom, boom. They're going to try and keep this upward trajectory going, and I don't mean upward trajectory in price. I mean in the daily active users and in the engagement that we're seeing, because I, I think this is going to that's what's important. We can't we can't have another major lull because that's going to get even more people to kind of fall off the. I guess. Yeah, I, I I think. I think Nada realized that in the core team, you know, once this started, once the rebrand started, we had to go full force ahead and like really push it. And I think that's why I think the referral program is going to drop any day now. The new front end is going to drop any day now. And once the new front end's here, once the referral program's here, that's when the fuel and the fire can start being pushed. And, you know, they're going to be paid advertising to, you know, get the word out there that there's this decentralized social media platform where you can make $16, I think that's what it is right now, simply by signing up and earn additional, I don't know how much you're gonna pay per referral, whether it's $10 or $50 per referral. I don't know how much it's gonna be, but they're gonna be able to advertise that. And that's where I think we're gonna see the exponential growth because you know somebody's gonna discover it through advertising and then they're gonna advertise it themselves by telling their friends, making Facebook posts, making Twitter posts, you know, probably buying ads themselves. If you're going to be paid, you know, ten dollars for every referral you get, it's probably going to be worth it for you to spend money on advertising. So it's great. You know, the referral program. Not only do you get that referral commission, but you're also going to get the commission if any of your referrals buy your coin. You're going to collect an additional additional founder reward. So I mean, there's multiple ways to earn. So it's really exciting, and I think we're going to see that all kind of materialize in the coming days and weeks ahead. And, and what this core team is going to excel at is after they push out this new front end, I think they can take a step back from BitCloud.com and concentrate almost solely on the block, the DSO blockchain, and adding features and and maybe maybe ways to put more data into the blockchain for other features that people might want to roll out in other nodes. And I think that's going to be important, their work on the blockchain, not so much their work on bitcloud.com. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, hopefully we start seeing new nodes pop out up that look different than bitcloud.com. I mean, we've, we've seen that in respect to, you know, some of the like Pulse, Bitcloud Pulse, which is now Pulse, I believe, and all the NFT platforms, but we haven't seen it as far as just a, traditional social media platform looks, they all look exactly like BitCloud right now, but anyone can design a front end that can overlay this blockchain to look how they want. And that's what I'm excited for. I want to see how different developers come up with different ideas. Absolutely. I think that would be a great place to end day 181 of our DSO journey. We'll talk to you tomorrow.